Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't want to go to one down, but in you know, Australia, been really well today. I think that he is a very, uh, <laughs> very defendable target. Uh, as AB said, we were we were in the game till about probably the 35th over and we lost our way. So going into Melbourne, it's a good situation to be in in the sense that it kind of got a bit more uh, added added pressure on us, and that's a good thing uh, in preparation, definitely for the World Cup. Yeah, we had moments where we feel it really well, and I think from a bowling perspective, we, we were probably 25 or 30 runs of it too much, um, the extras and things like that. But I think our ground feeling was pretty good. There were some amazing stops and. A couple of our uh, of our fielders did a lot of a lot of yards on the pitch, um, running from long on and long off uh, to cover as much ground as possible. So I think the fielding was pretty good. And it's a difficult ground to kind of defend scores and and to defend guys who are running well and you know running the twos and things. Now I felt that throughout my career, uh, betting up front, you know, you want to bet as long as you can. Uh, as I said, three thirty is a very big total, so we had to make a play. You don't want to leave it. So the last 10 overs needing 100 runs on this wicket, I think it's a bit difficult to do that. So we tried to go a little earlier by the 35th over in the power play. Unfortunately, my seven AB got out and it, and it kind of, uh, and we lost our way and we didn't get even close. Uh, but had we got some momentum going in the 35th over onwards, we probably would have uh, challenged the total a lot more. When I look at our team as well, um, I mean, we've got guys like Mashan Belanga, Kyle Albert, who are really good bowlers, you know, in the wings. And I think that's probably one of the features for the South African and Australian attacks, so that there's some good depth. And when you do rest somebody, generally somebody will come in and, and fulfill the position you know, admirably. So when I look at both teams, I think they, they're both in a healthy position like that. Yeah, up front, it was probably one of the better times to bat. Um, in the wicket got a lot more difficult as the... Um, as the innings progressed, he bowled pretty well in Perth and he bowled pretty decently, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how old he is, but uh, no, he bowled well and I'm sure the Aust Australians are pretty happy with what he's done. Um, and as I said, it's a bit easier when you're defending 330 because you know the batters are going to have to make a play. Uh, and I guess picking up wickets is a lot easier like that. I'm trying to stay as, uh, as chill as possible um, because, but we knew at that particular moment we had to make a play. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we don't want, we didn't want to leave it too late. We've been uh, expecting too much from the guys at the bottom order to try and get 10 and over on this wicket and on, on this type of field. So we had to make a play. It was either make or break at that particular time, and it didn't go our way this one. Yeah, it's been very good. Um, you know, as the captain alluded to, we're going to be in Canberra, so this has given us some preparation, and now we're going to Melbourne and then Sydney. So these are our venues. Um, the guys have taken a lot of insight from it. And I think from a team selection point of view, uh, they're probably having a, a good look at uh, what the squad, you know, who's going to be picking for places in the team. Uh, so I think it's kind of uh, fitted in pretty decently. And now going to Melbourne, uh, a must-win game for us, as I said, in the silver lining is definitely that, you know, the added pressure is something that will be test us, and I think that's a good thing.